Today, we're diving into the top 5 industries and which heavy machines have the most accidents. With all that power comes serious risk, and sometimes things go wrong, really wrong. When it comes to heavy machinery accidents, agriculture, forestry, and fishing takes the top spot. With a fatality rate of 14.7 per 100,000 workers in 2022, it's the most dangerous industry for machinery-related deaths. And the king of all deadly machines? Tractors. Yep, you heard that right, the humble tractor. In this sector, tractors are involved in nearly 30% of all machinery-related fatalities. But why are tractors so dangerous? One big reason is that older models lack modern safety features like rollover protection structures, or ROPS, and seat belts. Without these safeguards, a simple misstep can lead to tragic consequences. And it's not just tractors. Combine harvesters and sprayers also play a significant role in accidents in this field. Tractors come in all sizes, from the massive John Deere 9R640 with 640 horsepower to the small but mighty Kubota B2320 with just 23 horsepower. Whether it's a giant behemoth pulling equipment across acres of farmland or a smaller machine handling tasks on smaller plots, the risks are real. When it comes to combine harvesters, the biggest player on the market is the Claus Lexion 8900, which boasts an incredible 790 horsepower. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the Wintersteiger Classic, which operates with a much humbler 150 horsepower, but both machines can be deadly if not operated properly. And finally, sprayers, which apply fertilizers and pesticides, also range from massive machines like the John Deere R4060 with its 1,200-gallon tank to the tiny Micron Handy, a handheld sprayer with a 1-liter capacity. Whether big or small, they all present serious risks. The fatality rate in agriculture is worsened by the age of many workers. Farmers over the age of 75 are four to eight times more likely to be involved in fatal accidents, often because they are using outdated machinery without modern safety features. These factors combine to make agriculture, forestry, and fishing one of the most dangerous industries for machinery accidents. If you're enjoying the content so far, like and subscribe for tons more. Up next, it's construction. If there's an industry that deals with heavy machinery on a daily basis, it's construction. From towering cranes to earth-moving excavators, the machinery in this sector is impressive, but it's also dangerous. The construction industry accounts for 27% of design-related machinery fatalities. A lack of safety devices, inadequate hazard identification, and poor traffic management on sites often lead to fatal accidents. In construction, excavators are some of the most common and dangerous machines. The Caterpillar 6090FS is the largest excavator in the world, with 4,500 horsepower. It can move mountains, but that much power is a serious risk, especially when proper safety procedures aren't followed. Even the smallest example of an excavator, the Kubota K0083, with just 10.2 horsepower, can be dangerous without careful handling. Another staple of construction is the bulldozer. At the top of the pile is the Komatsu D575A3, with a staggering 1150 horsepower. It's the largest bulldozer in the world, capable of flattening almost anything in its path. But even smaller bulldozers, like the Caterpillar D1, with just 80 horsepower, can cause major accidents on construction sites. And of course, the cranes. Lieber LR13000, with its 3,000-ton lifting capacity, is the largest crane in the world. It's an engineering marvel, but if something goes wrong with a crane this size, the results can be catastrophic. On the smaller end, we have the Meta MC174CRM, with a 1.72-ton capacity. Both cranes serve crucial roles in construction, but must be operated with the highest attention to safety protocols. Crushing incidents, obstructed driver vision, and poorly managed construction zones contribute to the high fatality rates in this industry. Construction may build our cities, but it's also one of the most hazardous fields for heavy machinery accidents. Manufacturing Manufacturing is all about efficiency, with machines working in close proximity to workers to produce everything from cars to consumer goods. But that closeness can come at a price. The manufacturing sector accounts for 19% of all design-related machinery fatalities, with the most common causes being inadequate guarding and equipment malfunctions. One of the most high-risk machines in manufacturing is the CNC machine. The largest example is the Ingersoll Exceed MG, with an astonishing 50-meter travel distance. On the other side, the pocket NC5 axis CNC mill with its small 8-inch work area is one of the smallest examples. 
Whether large or small, CNC machines require precision, and mistakes with them can lead to serious injury. Next up are industrial robots, which automate tasks like assembly and material handling. The KUKA Titan, which can lift up to 1,000 kilograms, is the biggest robot of its kind. The smallest, the ST Robotics R12, with a payload of just one kilogram. While robots are designed to make work easier, they are also responsible for many accidents in manufacturing, especially when safety systems like interlocks fail. Then there are injection molding machines, which are used to produce plastic parts. The Haitian Jupiter 3 JU66002 is the largest, capable of generating a clamping force of 66,000 kilonewtons. The Boy XS, with a clamping force of just 100 kilonewtons, is one of the smallest. Both types of machines are involved in countless accidents each year due to equipment malfunctions or operator errors. Transport, Postal, and Warehousing Transport, Postal, and Warehousing may not seem like high-risk industries at first glance, but they actually had the highest number of total fatalities in 2022, with 67 deaths. One of the main culprits? Forklifts. These machines are indispensable in warehouses, but they are also prone to accidents, particularly when drivers' visibility is obstructed or park brakes fail. The largest forklift in the world is the Kalmar DCG 72010LB, which can lift an incredible 72 tons. On the smaller end, the Toyota three-wheel electric forklift with a one-ton capacity is more common in smaller warehouses. Despite their differences in size, both types of forklifts have been involved in fatal accidents. Conveyor systems, used to move materials automatically, are another source of accidents. The Vales S11D iron ore mine conveyor is the largest, stretching an incredible 37 kilometers, while the Omni Metalcraft miniature belt conveyor, with its 2-inch wide belt, is one of the smallest. If not properly maintained, these systems can lead to accidents, especially when workers come into contact with moving parts. Lastly, automated guided vehicles, or AGVs, which transport materials autonomously, are becoming more common. The largest example is the Cone Crane's AGV Translifter, which can handle up to 130 tons. The MIR-100, with a 100kg payload, is one of the smallest. As with other automated systems, they come with risks, especially when systems malfunction. Mining Mining may not have the highest number of fatalities, but it is one of the most dangerous industries for heavy machinery accidents due to the extreme environments and the massive machines used. The mining sector accounted for 4% of design-related machinery fatalities from 2006 to 2011. One of the largest machines in mining is the Bell AZ75710 haul truck, with a 450-ton capacity. This giant moves mountains of ore and debris, but can cause devastating accidents if it rolls over or collides with other vehicles. On the smaller end, there's the Caterpillar 770G, which has a 40-ton capacity. Both are crucial to mining operations, but both pose significant risks. In surface mining, drag lines are essential for removing overburden. The Bucyrus 8750, with its 180 cubic meter bucket, is the largest drag line in the world. The smallest is the Dragline XL4, with a 4 cubic yard bucket. Drag lines are involved in many accidents due to their size and the complexity of their operation. And finally, continuous miners are used in underground coal extraction. The Joy 12 CM30, with its 30 kilowatt cutting power, is the largest, while the Ecoff SL300 with the same power is one of the smaller models. These machines operate in tight, dangerous spaces where accidents can easily happen. And that wraps it up. Five industries where heavy machinery is vital, but also dangerous. Thanks for watching, and please like, share, and subscribe. And if you've made it this far, then you'll definitely enjoy one of these. See you in the next one.